Hello from Parsley Hill Spaniels. We have an update on Eric. Look who we have. Here he is. There's our boy. He's had his cosmetic surgery, had the lump removed. He's not very happy, as you can see. He's wearing the collar of shame. He's not happy about that either. Let's see if we can cheer him up a little bit. We've got him a double buddy burger with cheese. There we go. That nice touch here in the is it? Yeah? I went and got this before I came to get him, so it's all nice and cool now. It doesn't normally last very long. If you're wondering what a buddy burger is, out here we have a fast food place called A&W in Canada. And it does burgers and fries and coffees and shakes and root beer, and it's called A&W anyway. But they do buddy burgers. And all their meat has no hormones in it, no antibiotics. It's all kind of fresh-ish. As fresh as it can be for a fast food place. But they do a buddy burger. And the buddy burgers, there you go, just the right size for teddies. And you ask for a plain one. There we go. Just slobber there. You ask for a plain one, and I ask for a double one with cheese for our Eric, there we are. He's just undergone a traumatic time, haven't you, sweetheart? And he's sat in the well of the truck because he can't get up on the on the seat as he was this morning. But if he does get up, I'll put his harness on. He's actually, his harness, he's got his, I mean, his seatbelt, he's got his seatbelt clip here. Okay. Ready to clip into his harness. But I'll only put that on if he actually gets up there. Anyway, it's just a quick update to say he's back. He's just burped. He's wearing the cone of shame. Now we're going to take him home and he can have a rest at home and recover at home. He's on uh, really strong painkillers at the minute. Oh, and the good news is the vet thinks that it was a sedacious cyst. So, because uh, it popped apparently as soon as she went to cut it out. Well, that's good. But she still sent it away to make sure. So thank you to Parkland Vets and thank you to Dr. Marg Wood, our veterinary doctor here in Spruce Grove. And I'm sure Eric will thank you when he feels a lot better. But he's not feeling at the moment. He looks really tired, bless him. So we'll get him home and get him sorted. And then we'll keep, uh, we'll keep all the other teddies away from him because I can think of three of them that will try and lick his eye for him, whether he likes it or not. I'm going to have to keep the cone on for a little bit, I think, even though Eric's not fantastic. If he doesn't start scratching or anything, we'll go to scratch or rubbing it, then we'll take his uh, take the cone off and then he'll be fine. Anyway, here he is. He's all good. Thank you for everyone that sent messages and emailed, uh, to, emailed us to see how he was doing. He's, he's doing absolutely fantastically. Thank you, everyone, and uh, we'll see you all again soon. Happy sniffs.